$1 billion. What is up, Flick fans? Welcome back to another box office video, and let's just get right into it. You guys know what we're talking about. We're going to run down the top five movies at the box office this weekend, and I thought we would maybe shift topics a little bit, but what is this, four or five weeks in a row? We're just focusing on Joker and this insane run that this movie is having. All of the money it's bringing in. We're also going to talk about the brand new releases this weekend. So let's get right into our very first topic, Black and Blue Countdown and The Current War, which is where we're going to start. The Current War comes in at $2.7 million in 1,022 theaters just $2,000 per theater. To do an in-depth breakdown for that really quick, <clears throat> it's not good. Black and Blue did not crack the top five, but it did come in at $8.3 million in its debut. And hey, $12 million budget, that is not too bad, honestly. This is a movie, along with The Current War, two films that I didn't get a chance to check out. That's kind of rare for me. I'm usually watching all of the new releases, but there were just so many things that dropped for me this weekend, movies that expanded into a wider range of theaters, and one example of that is The Lighthouse. Now, The Lighthouse expanded to 586 total theaters, $5,000 per theater coming in at $3.6 million total, but this weekend alone, $3 million. It's a film that deserves way more than that. I get it. It's artistic. It's out there. It's odd. But if you guys have not seen The Lighthouse, please go and see this movie supported at the box office. It is uh, one of the more intriguing movies you will watch this month and maybe even this year. Another movie that expanded into 129 venues is Parasite with a pretty good $1.8 million $14,000 per theater average, coming in at $4.1 million total. That is obviously a way higher per theater average than something like The Lighthouse. Less theaters, we have to take that into account, but Parasite, uh, for what it's doing, for where it is at currently, uh, doing pretty well. And Parasite is one that I reviewed a while ago because I got a screener for it thanks to a friend. If you don't know my thoughts on it, it is one of my favorite movies of the year. Easily in the top 10. What a phenomenal Phenomenal film. When it comes to a theater near you, make sure you see it. And you know, another movie that's having a pretty solid per theater average is Jay and Silent Bob Reboot. Just to hit on that really quick. 17 venues, $219,000, $12,000 per theater. Almost $13,000 per theater, $1.5 million total. Hey, limited release, limited movie, per theater average is pretty good. Let's keep it rolling, Jay and Silent Bob. Just an update on Gemini Man, this movie will not reach $100 million domestically. It is going to lose a lot of money at the box office. It is one of the biggest box office bombs of 2019. It's currently at $43 million domestic on a massive budget, over 120, 130 million. Hey, guys, this is not good. Let's talk about some positive things. Let's get into the top five movies of the weekend. And where we end is where we get to talk about the Joker. But coming in at number five is the brand new release, the other new release, In Countdown, the brand new low-budget horror film. I guess for the budget, you know, it's not too bad. I feel like if the quality was better, the box office would have been higher. But still, it's a low-budgeted horror movie, $9 million. It's fine. Zombieland Double Tap comes in at number four. This is a very front-loaded film. Unfortunately, the biggest drop in the top 10, 57% drop-off. $11.6 million this weekend, $47 million total. Last weekend, it did well, 26.8. This weekend, it's not looking as good. But overall, still a decent box office for a studio sequel. I want to see another movie in the franchise. I really enjoyed this film. had a lot of fun with it. It was funny, but to see a drop off like this is very unfortunate. I just think there are so many movies out right now. Not necessarily a comedy to take its spot, but man, 57% drop. Definitely underwhelming. The best hold in the top 10, only a 28% drop, now up to $72 million total. This thing made $11.7 million in its third weekend. We talked about how there was a sequel that was announced last weekend. I'm like, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Now it makes even more sense. This movie is making not a grand amount of money, but for its budget and for what kind of movie it was, a great box office run for this movie. I didn't like the film, but it's making a lot of money. Falling to the number two spot, 
at the box office. Interesting. We'll see what overtook it. <laughs> Just a bit. You guys know what overtook it. With $18.5 million. A $65 million total. It's not good. I mean, compared to what the first movie, the amount of money that that was making. Internationally, it is doing better. But Maleficent, Mistress of Evil, is definitely a box office disappointment for Disney. I think they expected a lot more than this, especially with Angelina Jolie at the forefront of this franchise, which it looks like it's going to stop at two movies. That's for sure. Not a horrible, tragic Gemini Man box office, but, but one that is definitely underwhelming for Disney. My goodness. You know what's not underwhelming? The number one movie at the box office this weekend, which is Joker. Uh, I, a lot of people are comparing this film to the king of comedy. Looks to me like the Joker is the king of the box office. Booyah! That was stupid. Joker hath returned to the number one spot this weekend, dropping just 35%. With $18.9 million, $277 million total domestically. Whoa! My goodness. And I'm sure you've been seeing all of the reports where this movie is more profitable than Avengers Infinity War due to the very small budget and the crazy amount of box office dollars it's bringing in compared to that budget. And you look at the fact that it's made $571 million, not domestically, overseas. The overseas total is almost $600 million, which puts this movie at $849 million, passing Thor Ragnarok, Spider-Man, Wonder Woman, and Deadpool. It's not just the number one R-rated movie of all time, folks. This movie is on pace to make a billion dollars at the box office. Joker, a low-budgeted Warner Brothers project that they were fearful to even get off the ground in the first place, surrounded by controversy, with an Oscar-slash-artistic, stylistic approach and touch to it that not many general audience goers are going to see. And because of that, not everyone loves this movie as much as I do, because they were expecting more of a comic book film, but the fact that it is what it is, I think is part of the appeal towards a certain group of fans, and then the fact that people are going and expecting one thing is a part of the appeal for another group of fans, and that's why this movie is making so much money, and I just think everyone wants to see. What's all the hype about? What is all the controversy about? Where wh where are these stairs that Joker is dancing on? I want to go to the stairs. I want to go to the stairs. And Joker, folks, it is just a complete beast. I am sure we will continue to update things as this movie goes along. Probably won't be the main topic of next week's box office episode, but I will continue to feed you guys this information. And when it hits a billion, you guys know that we will definitely be talking about that. Next weekend's big movie is Terminator Dark Fate. But Joker, he's not clowning around. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This is part of an ongoing series that I'm doing every single Sunday. Stay tuned. Come back to this channel. We're going to talk box office every week, and I appreciate your all support and feedback on these videos. I will try to continue to improve them. Feed you guys the information. Let me know if you want to talk other things. We can always talk inflation, things like that. But I try to stick to the actual numbers and report those as accurately as I can. And just so you guys know, these were all estimations. The final totals will be in on Monday. You can check back to Box Office Mojo if you can navigate that site now because they changed it up. All right, I'm done talking. Thank you guys for watching. You are truly the best, and I'll see you very soon.